Rush, RushLanePoultry.com. 2012. It's right around the corner now. Uh, going to do another review for you guys. Got um, got a couple of new thermostats in from uh, new new uh, design thermostats for our cooler baiters here. Uh, I'm, actually, I've got one in both uh, both of these incubators here, guys. Both styles that we use. See, this one here uses the uh, uh, uses light bulbs as a heat source. I got a temporary bracket that I've got this little thermostat on. Uh, I'm also going to parallel and post pictures. The actual eBay auction pictures from uh, it's S Clipper S K L I P P E R eBay seller. Uh, these are good folks. They're out in Idaho, and uh, they uh, they sell these new type. They're blade type thermostats. They work basically just like your uh, your wafer thermostats. The cool thing about these though is that. Uh, they're 15 bucks free shipping uh, 15 bucks a piece and you're gonna drop nine or ten it loads on that uh, water heater thermostat and then I have to modify the thing so uh, but I'm gonna post several of the pictures um, of these uh, thermostats and I've been testing these things for about three days uh, this box here this is my old ugly styrobator box I get these uh, I get these uh, old um, Angus steak boxes like this got to somebody uh, folks that give these things to me for free and uh, they are thick they're almost three inches thick and they make great uh, incubators and see they're big enough here I got uh, I got a turner inside this one here now I this is when I might cut back to go in uh, my, my little refrigerator over there this one holds 35 eggs though and the thing about it is with this new thermostat in here it's holding 99.5 to 105 it's got a one degree temperature swing here in this box and now see this one is not using the uh this one here uses see here we got a gqf 25 watt element in here see here where i've got that thermostat mounted right there look at that i mean it, it looks insignificant don't look like there's a whole lot to it but i tell you it works good guys i have been uh, pleasantly surprised the way this thing works one degree one degree temp swing in this box right here uh, 99.5 to 105 perfect I'm, I couldn't be happier with that this box with using the light bulbs as the heat source there's only uh, 0 0.5 to 0 0.7 degree temp swing in here I'll open this up it probably come right back on here in a second but you see this one is mounted I let that light let it camera there we go it's mounted in the same spot that I'm out of the GQF. I pulled the wafer thermostat out to put this one in and uh, and you see how it don't want to take up any space that's just a temporary bracket that I just rigged up to, to run it in here to test this. 240 watt bulbs and uh, she'll come on at 99.5 and shut off at just about a hundred uh, and or just over a hundred and that's all the run up we have. I got my little light rigged in this one here. That's cool isn't it? Uh, I like that, but um, they work good. Uh, got a few other things that I'm gonna cover with them in, uh, in in another segment coming up real soon, guys. But wanted to get uh, wanted to kind of get my foot in the door with these things, let you know what's going on here, and give you some idea of uh, where you can find them and all that. We're coming into a season where a lot of folks are gonna be building these things, so uh, I'm hoping this is gonna help out. These are good folks that sell these things, and they're real reasonable with free shipping, which is which is always good. And uh, any more information that uh, that I can get for you on this thing, I'll post it in the video. Talk to you soon, guys. Thanks. Okay, guys, uh, I've got all basically all four different types that I've got that we're talking about here. So there's your modified water heater thermostat and its placement. Same as 48 quart. Uh, it's 48 quart igloo igloo, igloo, however depending on what part of the country you're in, how you pronounce that and see, in reference that's where we mount it within just an inch or so of your uh, of your heat source and then this whole styrobator box here that we use the uh, that I'm actually using the heating element out of a GQF hubabator, that's what that element is you can get those from the GQF website for about 12 bucks and that's what I put 
and a lot of these little star baiters that we build into these thick styrofoam coolers. All right, and then here the one we just this is a this is a 54 quart Coleman that we've got the new uh, blade style thermostat that uh, that I'm talking about here. Uh, see if I can give you a good look. You see. They've got the blades on where you have to do is put your solderless terminals, your connectors on there, and they connect up the same way any other thermostat does, except you just plug them up. I don't know how hard it is to see that. It'll give you a pretty good reference of what this thing looks like. It works basically like a circuit breaker does. The blade, the, uh, the primary adjusting blade just augments when it gets to a certain temperature, bends, and breaks contact. And see, then there's your old standby uh, GQF wafer thermostat. See, we don't mount it here. See, I've got it set up here to where I could mount a uh, water heater thermostat in here. I actually had one in here at one time, and you could mount, mount it in here as a backup uh, or as a failsafe, but we're not talking about that today. But that's your different. There's your big GQF wafer uh, thermostat. Worked great. Hold with virtually no variance at all, or just a few tenths of a degree variance. This is also a uh, 48 quart here. But, uh, but you can see the size difference in comparison to how that sits right there as to this little blade thermostat from S Clipper. That's a pretty big difference. That doesn't take up much room. Okay guys, I pulled this thing out where you can see it. Now this thing is powered up. You have to be careful with this. I'm gonna make try to make sure I don't get shocked. But uh, I was going to show you how this thing uh, is installed here. Right here where the nut, this thing has a little fastening nut that comes with it on top of it there, okay? So here, this is a 7 16 hole. That's what this is, 7 16 hole. You'll need a 7 16 drill bit. And it'll be a good idea with this. You can either go on ahead and drill a 7 16 hole here, but you're not going to really have anything to fasten it to. Uh, with this, uh, one thing that I have discovered, that this is what I would do and this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to show you the bracket. You see, this can be adjusted with a little small flathead screwdriver. Okay, you'll want to drill about a quarter inch hole to push your thermostat through whenever you go to install it. Uh, I've been trying to figure a way that, like I said, that little temporary bracket that I had um, was just, like I said, it was just for mounting in here temporary. This is going to be a little more permanent here. I'm got to clean this up yet. You see this this is off of uh here we go. This is the base of a um uh, a light like this right here. The right there that is a light base that that fixture fits in. I get a lot of these from Goodwill and I pull the socket side of here to mount inside these uh, incubators. This is a 7 16 hole that was already in here with two bolt holes. I just took a uh, just took a metal cutting blade and cut the the recessed lip off of this thing to make it flat. See if you can notice right here. See how this thing is recessed right there? That's perfect. That's going to be perfect for the nut for it to go through just like this right here. Mount in the box just like that, and I'm going to mount my uh, my uh, thermostat through this hole right here. Let's see. I don't know if I could do this with one. This is Whenever uh, I can give you a little bit better of an idea, I had a little bit of help. But see, this right here will fit through just like this. Put my fastening nut on the on this side right here, and then go ahead and turn it all around and mount it. Just shoot a couple of screws through here and mount it through the hole that I've already got there, and we'll be set. So it's, it would be a good idea whenever you mount these things to do something like that to find you something just uh, to use as a universal bracket. To mount this to as a solid base so that way whenever you have to uh, make adjustments to it it won't cause you any headaches okay um, they do offer an installation kit with this thing that has a knob that goes on the end uh, it has a couple of wire leads with the solderless terminals already on it um, and I don't know if there was it seemed like there was a couple of two or three things for $19 and some change with free shipping for just an extra three bucks um, they'll send you the, the connectors, the, the knob, and all that other stuff. But on my thick boxes, this, uh, this probe will not go all the way through to the other side. So a, uh, uh, an adjustment knob would be a waste of time for me. So I just have to use a little screwdriver to adjust them, which is fine. 
so uh, but these things are so simple to install guys uh, they install just like a regular thermostat only you can just put your terminals on there and plug them right up all right guys talk to you soon okay guys I'm turn this light back on you see I got my little my permanent bracket mounted back on here where I want to uh, get this thing mounted permanently in here the 7 16 hole you see a little fastening nut holds it right there on the other side of the bracket quarter inch hole but what you're going to want to do guys so you got a little bit of this 7 16 recessed sticking out you want to take your little blade like this now this is just the way that I'm doing it I'd use if you could get your 7 16 drill bit in there would be perfect but I can't I can't get my drill into this little box in this narrow little box here so I'm just going to hit and miss with this till it looks like it's going to recess like it needs to kerchang and there she is that is going to be my permanent mountain spot and uh, heck all we got to do now I can find my, my screws here. And I'll tell you nothing you better do, guys. If you got a drill like mine, you better put that little teeny bit in there. Or you, uh, instead of using the magnetic uh, holder, because you won't get this thing in the box if you don't. A little bit of pressure. Let's mount it up tight. All right, let me see here. Get my other bit mounted onto the drill here. And there, little thermostat. It's mounted in there nice and neat, held in there in place. And you just stick your little screwdriver in through the other side, through the hole that was drilled through there, a quarter inch hole, to adjust your thermostat. And it don't have to turn it far, guys. A little goes a long way. All right, guys. Hopefully that'll take you through the whole thing. I've got my other videos to show how we even build them and, and all that. But all the, uh, every thermostat that there is wires up the same way. Only this one here, you'll just pinch you on a couple of solderless terminals, and then you can plug this thing right up to this baby. And so far, works really well, guys. All of these boxes, the hatched eggs, out of all of them, all of these boxes do really well. And uh, like I said, we're in the third day testing these blade thermostats, and they're holding right on the money, right what we talked about earlier. Okay, guys, I hope this helps out. Give these folks um, some business there on uh, on eBay because it's a good product, good price, free shipping. And uh, if you want to. Tell them Rush Lane Poultry sent you guys. Talk to you soon.